before we move into that, and it's so fitting that we have members of the military here. We know how Elvis would perhaps have wanted to start this day were he here with us. I think uh, while he would be gratified to have you here, I think Elvis's mind and thoughts would probably drift and wander and think about the brave young men who are serving our great nation abroad so that we might be Thank you. Elvis Aaron Presley, known the world over simply by his first name, is regarded as one of the most important figures in 20th century music and popular culture. He permanently altered the landscape of American music with a sound and style that uniquely combined diverse and seemingly disparate musical influences. In the process, he ushered in a music revolution that triggered a global scale cultural transformation. We celebrate the music of Elvis because it is the most tangible thing he left us. But I believe Elvis is more than his music, and I believe that we celebrate him because of what he says about us. In many ways, the story of Elvis is the story of America and it exemplifies what we can all achieve. In 1935, America was struggling to pull itself out of the Great Depression and the worst economic conditions this great country has ever known. In that same year, a child was born in a two-room shack in one of the poorest areas of the country to a family with no more than the clothes on their backs and just a little hope for the future. A decade later, America had not only pulled itself out of the Depression, it had emerged victorious from the worst conflict the world had ever seen. From its humble beginnings, America established itself as a world power almost overnight. In 1948, as America helped the rest of the world rebuild itself, Elvis moved with his family to Memphis. By 1954, America was facing new challenges. Around the world, communism was challenging many of the core values on which our great nation was built. As a nation, we had found our place and we knew our strengths, but we were still looking for our voice. Then came the king who took the world by storm. Drawing from the uniquely American sounds of gospel, blues, and country music, Elvis created a new music that was revolutionary and distinctly American. Just as no one could have predicted America's emergence as a world power, nobody could have predicted how successfully Elvis would achieve his ambition or the impact he would have on music and society as a whole. He mastered a diversity of musical influences, creating a sound and style that had never been heard or seen. In the process, he became the first genuine rock and roll icon, providing a new generation with a unique sound to call its own. But despite his success, Elvis never forgot his roots or his values. In 1958, he was drafted into the army. At the most successful time in his life, Elvis put his career on hold for two years to fulfill his duty to his country. Many people believe this would be the end of the Elvis era. The rock and roll revolution had begun to subside and he was losing popularity. But Elvis was not ready to leave the stage. No, no. After his release from the army, Elvis displayed a new set of talents and went on to star in 33 successful films. Even the British Invasion, which began in 1963, 
not a military invasion, that other invasion. <laughs> <laughs> it did not diminish the scar that was Elvis. In 1971, at the still young age of 36, Elvis had earned the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. Obviously, Elvis the man had talent. But as much as we remember the music and movies of Elvis, we also remember a young man who began his singing career in a small church and who still loved to sing simple gospel songs, even at the height of his fame. We remember a young man who was discovered because he wanted to give his beloved mother a gift. And this is why we still celebrate his life. It is the ideal American life story that humble beginnings and poor values <coughs> can still lead to greatness. If you were raised on a small farm in the country as I was and you spent your youth watching trucks go and come just as Elvis was born in a small town and watching the trucks and buses coming and going, some going southeast, some coming northwest. Thank God he got on one coming northwest. <laughs> no matter how humble your beginnings, if you grow up dirt poor, you can still, as Bill Clinton did, become president of a small town called Hope, Arkansas. And if you were born in a shack in Tupelo, Tupelo, Mississippi, you can still be the king. Yeah. Yeah. Declaring this to be Elvis Presley Day. Yes. Yeah.